Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part two of our series of session on the playlist of utilities. In this session today, we will see yet another utility which is going to be very useful when you are going to capture the data. Now this utility is the calculator utility. I would not say that the facility of calculator in tally is not just it provides the function of calculation. I can term this as an alpha numeric memory system. So we let us go to tally and explore and understand how we can make use of this calculator facility in tally. Once we execute tally, we have the tally screen here. Now for you to activate the calculator from any screen of tally, you have the keyboard shortcut, which is control N. So I'm going to press control N and here we have the calculator panel. Whatever calculation you want to do, you can perform the calculation activity here. For example, let us say 100 plus 100 enter and we are going to get the result. So this way you can use the calculator panel for any kind of offline calculator that you want to conduct. The calculator conducts all your basic calculation activities like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, percentage, etc. The best part of the calculator panel here in tally is it is going to retain all your sequence of entries and the result that you get out of your calculation. Until you close your tally application, you will have this retained in the memory at any point in time for you to look into it. Now, if you don't want the calculator, you can just click on this X mark here, click here and the calculator is hidden. Again, for you to open up the calculator, you're going to press control N and you have all your steps of your calculation retained in the calculator panel. Another very useful feature of the calculator is when you are in the voucher entry, you can use the calculator and the result of your calculation will get auto pasted in the amount column of the voucher. Let us see how we can make use of this utility or the feature. Let me just close the calculator panel, click here and the calculator panel is disappeared. Now I go to voucher entry, select any ledger. Let me select conveyance, enter. And now you want to do some calculation and you want the result of the calculated amount to be pasted automatically in the amount column. So now instead of pressing control N, I'm going to press Alt C. Alt C will again execute the calculator. I'm going to press Alt C and you will notice here now the calculator panel is visible and now start your calculation. Let's say I will say 1250 into 5. Enter and you will notice that the amount gets auto captured here. Whenever you want to capture your result in the amount column, then you have to use Alt C. But if you are using Control N, then you will get the answer, but the answer will not get auto pasted. So let us quickly check that. I'm going to close the calculator. Now, instead of pressing Alt C, if you press Control N, let us see what happens. So I'm going to press Control N. The calculator panel is opened. So I'm going to use the same calculation, 1250 into 5, enter. You will get the result here but you will notice that the result does not get auto captured in the amount column. So this is where you can use Tally's calculator for any kind of calculation that you want to perform during your voucher entry. Like I mentioned, you have the history of your calculation activities recorded or retained in the calculator panel. In the next session, we will use the calculator panel for alpha commands and see the result of those activities.
I hope post this information, you will now start using Tally's calculator facility for you to use any kind of calculation that you want without using an external calculator. In the next session, we will see yet another very useful feature under this alphanumeric memory function, what other thing the calculator panel can provide. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.